clown killifish or the epiplatus inaltus. I'll put the name on the screen here. Uh, these guys are found in the wild in Western Africa, uh, countries like Liberia, Sierra Leone, places of that nature. Uh, clownfish are a, you know, it's going to sound weird, but they're a peaceful micro predator, meaning that they feed on small insects and small invertebrates and crustaceans, things of that nature in the wild. Uh, in nature, these guys are going to stay very small and they're found in large numbers in marshes, streams, swamps, small watering holes, places where water is more stagnant and not heavy flowing, which you will need to learn or need to know rather for your tanks. These guys do not like a lot of flow. Minimal to no flow is what these like. Now their bodies are almost a torpedo shape in length since they are of course surface feeders. Other mouths are turned upwards to make it easier for them to get at the food. So if you've seen other fish like the killifish gardener eye, their mouth is curved up like this. So when they go to eat, their top jaw is here. So they just kind of like open up and scoop it in almost kind of. Now, as far as tank parameters go, uh, they're only going to max out at just under one and a half inches. Average size is like one and a quarter to 1.4. So not very big fish at all. So you could get away with a five gallon tank for these guys. Now, with that being said, water temperature wise, 68 to 80 degrees for a range in a pH of four to seven. You can breed them easy enough. Uh, you can get away with a 10 gallon tank and about up to eight pairs of these guys. That is again, because they do stay so small. Now, if you want an extra room for fry, maybe do like a trio in there or maybe three females, two males, something smaller there so there's room for the fry to grow up as well. Now again, these guys are a carnivore in the wild. They are hunting for these insects and things that are going to easily be accessible to them. So when it comes to feeding them, think things high in protein. Think things like a Daphnia, a tube fix worm, blood worms. You can, of course, throw in a micro pellet from Hikari or an extreme nano as well. Something high in protein that's going to get these fish, you know, what they'd be normally getting. Now, they can be housed with other small, peaceful fish. Now, things like Rasporas, Cory Cats, Tetras, Beta Fish, Garamis, Danios, Barbs, Plecos, Minnows, things like that that aren't going to be too crazy for them. And those things also like some, some lower flow as well. So things that can be paired in a low flow to no flow environment. And these are a very pretty fish. Um, one that is easy to care for as long as you keep their tank water clean. One that's also easy to breed. They do stay nice and small for those of us that like our nano fish. So I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a nice 10 out of 10 on the scale. That is the lefty scale because I scale things how I feel with them. Now, thank you all again for watching the video and for continued support on all the content. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know your experience keeping the clown killies if you've kept them or if you want to keep them. And until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>